Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are going to get back into the swing of things here. We did one of these not too long ago and it turned out really cool. So I feel like doing another one because the last one is actually going to a subscriber. So I'd like one for myself. So we're going to make something real cool out of this. So let's get going. We'll just get this bad boy stripped. Mmm, what a mess. That's not appealing to the eye at all. Barf. This is going to be really cool. So we got all the paint stripped off. Casting isn't bad. It's a little bit pitted up, but that's not really going to make a difference at this point. One thing I do have to do here is drill out these posts, get them ready for screws. I think we're gonna go straight to the paint booth. No messing around on this one. We're gonna just start off with a basic white and then I'm gonna give it a, a light clear coat so that I can add color on top of my white without any bleeding, okay? So I'll meet you in there. Okay, so we have a white car, we're clear coated, and now we're ready to add a little bit of color before we do some decals. Last time I did one of these gassers, I did a cool stripe on the roof, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this one, just because it works really well on these wagons to have a nice striped roof. So I'm gonna grab some extra skinny tape and we'll just mask it out. This is probably the thinnest tape I have, and it works really well. It's Tester's brand. So I think I'm just going to start on one side and try to keep this gaps evenly and we'll see how it goes here. So I'm just starting taping from the outside, working in on both sides and then we'll deal with what's left over after I moved a couple pieces around and that looks a lot better so I'm gonna push all these down beauty I know it's hard to see sorry about that cool so we're just gonna paint this lower section the same color as the roof perfect I've got a big old pube stuck behind that tape. I'm just going to tape off everything in between. All right, we're all masked up here. It's going to be the same color, top and bottom. And then I think I might add a pinstripe in here yet. Here we go, back to the spray booth. So I've mixed up a little bit of orange here. That's gonna be our secondary color. So I'm hoping white, orange roof with kind of a reddish pinstripe is gonna be sweet, so we'll see.
All right, so our striping turned out really nice. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about it too much, but I wanted to make sure the bottom of my car was painted. And so I put a bunch of orange overspray on the inside of the car. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to fix now. And that was just me being picky. You know, when people pick up the car and look at the bottom of it, I wanted to just make sure that my edges were painted. But in doing that, now I have the whole inside of my car is orange. So that is, uh, that kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to fix that. So I'm going to let this dry for a second and we'll come back and uh, do the pinstriping. Might come back with this overspray fixed. You guys don't need to see that, but I do want to fix it up. So I'll be right back. As you probably figured out, we're doing a Dunkin' Donuts gasser wagon. The roof turned out pretty sweet. I was just going to do this kind of reddish pinstripe along the side, but I ended up spraying the whole top section just to get rid of that orange overspray. So now we have this. Hopefully this is on clear paper. I asked for clear and I will freak if it's not on clear. It's on clear, but there's no white toner. Okay. Mm -hmm. I could have made these at home. Didn't need to buy them. That's a little disappointing. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's real good. You just touch a brush to it and all the color comes off the decal. That is just awesome. Yeah, that doesn't ever happen with mine. Well, that sucks. I paid good money for those. Not cool, man. Not cool. I don't know if that was something I did or what. I don't know. I didn't soak it for very long at all. Maybe this one will be better. I'm a little scared to touch it if all the color is just going to come off it. Um, let's see here. You guys have seen me put decals on a lot. And just to be brushing this lightly, it should be doing nothing to damage these decals. Alright, I'm going to do this again. I don't expect any different results. I'm just going to try to be absolutely careful look at this one i just dipped this for like 10 seconds you can see the ink is running off it it's like it's not even protected you see all that extra pink what a joke this is a pretty reputable seller as well so i i don't I, i'm kind of shocked you know I read their directions one more time and it pretty much just said touch the decal as little as possible so I don't know how I could even push an air bubble out of this thing like it's <laughs> what the heck man I don't know if I'll be shopping from there again they recommend putting their decal in the water for 30 seconds I put these in for about three seconds put a nice donut police badge on the back So since there's no white toner, that means our little Homer here, his little shirt's going to be transparent. So he's going to have to go. I wanted to put him on the tailgate. I don't know if it's going to work out though. Well, maybe. Homer, it's up to you, buddy. I'm going to try to put Homer on the tailgate and we'll see. See if it's going to work out. 
Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but I think that's going to be okay. If the little bottom half of him's cut off, that's all right. He's still on there. Cool, I like that. The lid broke off my pudding cup again. Mm. That's crazy. I'll tell you where I got them from, just so you guys are aware anyways. They're from my custom Hot Wheels. Uh, that guy's all over Instagram. You know, pretty big store when it comes to decals, so that's why I was... I was hoping they'd be a lot better than they were. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat this and I'm gonna do a quick wheel swap. We'll do an assembly and get this bad boy on the road. Pimp. 